Welcome to the Daily Review. This is Fed Razak, Senior Trading Strategist here at CM Trading. And today is April 25th, 2024, and today is Thursday morning. So looking at the highlights of the day, we're watching the Japanese yen trade to new all-time record lows. But first, looking at today's major economic events. So we start out the day at 2.30 South African time out of the United States. We have a quarterly GDP gross domestic product number coming out. And simultaneously, we have pending home sales from the United States. Now, looking at today's corporate earning reports, we have Microsoft, Google, and Intel as the notables coming out with their quarterly earning reports. So looking at the various markets, starting out with the Forex symbols, the major pairs remaining unchanged. And as we look at the NASDAQ and the Dow Jones, both tapering lower in intraday, but selling off with that news from Meta. Now looking at commodities, gold and oil remaining unchanged. And as we look at the stocks, really mixed. We saw Meta selling off in after hours trading and JP Morgan continues to inch higher. Now lastly, looking at cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin tapering lower. So let's take a look at the markets and see what we can expect from today's trading. So here we go, first with the Japanese yen, inching higher, all-time record lows, no real resistance, it can continue going indefinitely, at least for now. Clearing 155 is a big number. Now, 155 could lead you to 160, and what's happening is, is that the indices are going higher, and so is the depreciation of the currency as well. And that's exactly what's happening with the Japanese yen in this inflationary environment that we're finding ourselves in. Now, jumping into the regular majors, uh, the GBP notable, okay, if that's the one that's moving the most, really unchanged. I mean, we tapered a little bit higher yesterday, but really nothing notable, all right? Looking at the Euro, same story. Okay, we got that bounce. Question is whether or not we're gonna sustain this bounce or we're gonna go back to our lows. So that's something to consider in the next couple of days. Now looking at gold, remaining unchanged here, okay? Just tapering a little bit lower, but nothing notable, okay? Yes, we're still tapering off after hitting all-time record highs, and it's tapering off less, okay? Which means it's slowing down its sell-off over the last couple of days. Now looking at crude oil, really unchanged here at $82 a barrel. Now jumping into the US markets, here we go, the Dow Jones. Sold off in after hours trading. I mean, this is really considering, you know, after hours trading as well. So with that said, yesterday, we just had a little bit of an uptick, but really nothing to write home about, okay? And looking at the NASDAQ, we are actually gapping lower this morning with 1740 460 as it's bought right now. Now, looking at Meta, Meta intraday yesterday had a bit of a roller coaster ride, okay, and then sold off finally as it pushing 493 in after hours trading. Now, what happened was is that basically they're spending so much money on AI, not enough revenue, and that's a classic situation that they're finding themselves in, and this may still tumble, okay, may still sell off further okay so keep an eye on meta as that is getting weaker now microsoft coming out with their quarterly earning reports a little bit of a bounce here as we're going into that report later today google also coming out with their quarterly earning reports but a little bit stronger as this is on its highs okay which is showing some strength here and lastly let's take a look at jp morgan as this is pushing higher to 193 and it's filling in the gap okay we're getting very close to filling in that gap completely now lastly let's take a look at some of the other notables um, Intel coming out with their quarterly earning reports now Intel has gotten beaten up okay for quite some time from its $50 level down to $34 let's see if they'll give some sort of positive news maybe we'll see a little bit of a bounce maybe not okay so keep that in mind as these are really Bellwethers. Intel is a really leading indicator in the market as to the direction of the markets as well. Now, lastly, looking at Bitcoin, retracing just a little bit to 64 from 66K. Not a big deal, okay, as it's churning here in its upper limits, okay, and it's really trying to find itself in a trading range, a new trading range, at least for now. This is Fed Razak. I want to wish you guys a great trading day. Thank you.